Today I'm giving you my two year review of my Ryobi 40 volt electric lawnmower. When you're ready to mow your lawn, all you have to do is put your battery in, then extend the handles which collapse for convenient storage when you're not using it. And finally, insert your safety key which I often just leave in place so I don't have to worry about losing it. Now squeeze the top lever down, push the button to start it, and squeeze the green levers if you want to self-propel it. I allowed my lawns to grow longer so you can see how well this lawnmower really works. After two years of consistent use, I haven't noticed any loss in efficiency. Emptying out the bag is quick and easy. Just lift the top flap, pull the bag out by the handle, dump it, and then replace it back. One pass is usually all it takes for a clean, consistent cut, and I've noticed that there's always excellent torque and hardly ever bogs down even with long, thick grass. The self-propel settings are a great, useful feature and allows for mowing the lawn with minimal effort. Here's an example of the slowest speed it goes, so anybody can use it. That said, if you want to go fast, this lawnmower can do that as well. Take a look at how quick this is. I find for me somewhere in the middle is a comfortable walking speed. There is a lot to like about switching to a good quality electric lawnmower. Let's go over the pros and then we'll go over the cons. The first and most obvious pro is you no longer have to store gas or add gas to be able to use your lawnmower. Additionally, I was concerned about how much power this would have versus using a traditional gas lawnmower, but I was actually pleased there's quite a bit of power, quite a bit of torque, and it does operate quieter than a traditional gas lawnmower does. Storage is easy, and no longer how long you have it in storage, it's always ready to go when you pull it out as long as you have a charge battery. The self-propulsion has a wide range of speed and the wheels for height adjust easily. This model is a few years old and it's been going strong for me. It is the 40 volt 5 amp hour battery that I have in this and it's been able to handle my front yard and my backyard of my average size lawns. This is what brings me to the cons. I really only see one con and that is with a battery powered electric motor when that battery runs out of juice you're done this is the main negative i was concerned about when switching to a electric lawnmower however newer models have more amp hour capacity which further eliminate this being an issue and additionally you can have a secondary battery so no matter what you can keep mowing your lawns even when the first one runs out of juice you can see here after mowing the front and the backyard, I still have some leftover power in my battery. When you're done, all you need to do is remove the battery, re-collapse down the handle, and then put your battery on the charger. And so that's it guys. I hope you guys found this review helpful and informative. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.